the highlights from this year's uh, Rural Land Briefing is very much the story around agricultural grain prices which have gone from £200 a tonne to £100 a tonne in only about 18 months. And in a world that was mainly influenced by UK factors, it's an international commodity now, influenced by what's going on in China, what's going on in the Middle East. Egypt is the biggest importer of grain in the world, but that area is unstable. And that has put a severe stress uh, on the rural industry together with the commodities that go with it. And that's a fascinating challenge for us because we have a lot of clients who farm. Uh, and if you have got grain at £100 a tonne, you have to be very good at what you do. And I think the second big one from this year was Brexit. Uh, our rural industry relies heavily on European subsidies, about £5 billion a year. And I think if we did come out of Europe, you would have to ask the question, would the, Europe, would the UK taxpayer be prepared to continue with such a system? And I think the chances are no. So there's a real concern around how the Brexit vote will go. But farmers are quite good about uh, making everyone feel that they're hard done by. And the reality is there's some good news out there as well. Uh, the government's drive on planning and development is uh, putting some very exciting opportunities in the way of people who own land, particularly in the southern counties. Uh, the problem and challenge is that the 200,000 houses a year they would like to deliver are a direct conflict with our antiquated planning system, which is struggling to deliver them but more importantly the green belt that everyone is so keen to protect. The reality is the two conflict and it's been very interesting looking today as to how one might resolve that kind of dilemma going forward. And it was interesting to hear from our research department that the drivers around development in terms of getting a number of uh, as many houses built as possible is leading us to build houses that the market doesn't necessarily want. So we're building small boxes that aren't suitable for families and in particular aren't suitable for the retiring generation that wants to downsize into something suitable for their later years and that's something we're not building. So great challenges there as well. So opportunities and threats as ever and it's been a great day.